Am I the a-hole for sending the text that destroyed my family? Spicy text? This comes from Charming Educator 612, and they say, So my brother's wedding happened two days ago, and it turned into a complete chaos, which I know, even though I don't were there. <laughs> I don't were there! <laughs> which I know, even though I wasn't there. You might wonder why I didn't attend the wedding if it's my brother's. Well, it's because of his wife's family. He sent me an invitation to the wedding because he wanted me there, but his fiance told them I couldn't attend because... I had a boyfriend. You might be confused, but I'm a man. Bisexual man to be exact. And I have a boyfriend who I wanted to bring to the wedding. Which we've had this situation happen before, but yes. it was the husband and wife that were like, I don't know if I want that person at the wedding. It's my choice. Yeah. So she said, even though she doesn't have a problem with that and he doesn't have a problem with that, her extremely religious parents who already forced her to do the wedding in a church would most likely banish us from the wedding and cause trouble between our families. Wait. And as we've said in that last episode, you are punishing the wrong person. Yes, you are wrong. Yes. Also, why? This is your wedding. Why let someone force you to host a wedding somewhere you don't want to be too? Exactly. Come on. After she told him that my brother told me I couldn't attend and told me why, you might think I was angry. The truth is, I was relieved. I hate going to big events with lots of people because of my social anxiety, and I already was used to not being able to attend certain events because of my sexuality, so it was nothing I haven't heard before. That sucks. Tragic. So the day of the wedding, I stayed home with my boyfriend. It's worth mentioning my parents apparently didn't know I wasn't attending the wedding. I was chilling at home, cuddling with my boyfriend, when I suddenly got a text message from my parents asking me where I was because they couldn't find me at the wedding party. I told them I wasn't attending the wedding, and if my brother hasn't told them anything. They said no and asked me what happened. He's like, oh, didn't you, did my brother tell you? Right. I didn't say any reason to lie, so I sent them a text message telling them exactly why. I see you. I see you in the comments. Now, I have to admit, I don't know exactly what happened after I sent them this message because they read it but didn't reply. And why did they even care in the first place? They didn't notice I wasn't there before until the wedding was already over. They only noticed when the wedding party started. However, apparently my parents talked to my brother about it. All of a sudden, my absence was the main topic of the wedding party. From what I heard, two fronts formed one side against the other this is sparta yep yep on the one hand my parents and the rest of my family against the family of my brother's wife and apparently he as a husband now felt compelled to take her side and tried to argue in her favor so he's taking the wife's family right side. <sighs> yeah traitor it's crazy to think that I was just sitting at home living my best life with my boyfriend while all of that crap went down at his wedding. The wedding party was ruined and my brother appeared on my door angrily screaming at me why I felt the need to ruin his wedding. Pause right here. Right yeah, please, here. Please pause. Quick pause. Pause that. To people in the comments, John Riley, do you think OP ruined his brother's wedding? What basically the brother is claiming, you ruined my wedding. Is that true? Uh, there's this little thing where when you make your bed, you got to lay in the bed you made. Exactly. Take responsibility for what you're doing. So like you chose the wrong side. You yes. basically punished the wrong person. Exactly. So it's like what's actually happening here is people are mad at the decision you made that you chose to do. And and now you're facing those repercussions and you're misdirecting uh, everything towards OP when OP did nothing wrong. Yeah, no. I mean, sometimes some people would take this as like, oh, I'm going to stir the pot a little bit. I'm right. going to like say a little extra in the text. You didn't. You were just like, oh, this, this is what is it is. Literally is what exactly what happened with no uh, malicious angle or no. intent or. No, there was no angling. He was like, OP yeah. was just saying the facts. Yes. And I think that is a re like this is a really good example of. If you do things that are of your values yes. and get exposed for it, you're just like, yeah, those are my values. Well, who cares? But if you do things that are against your values and get exposed to it, that's when it hurts that much more. I feel like these people are unclear what their values actually are. Do you know who you are? Exactly. If someone said, if there was a big party, right, we having having one of our potlucks here, and then all of a sudden everyone's, oh my gosh, John, John doesn't watch movies. What's wrong with him? Can I be angry? No, because your value is not watching movies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can't be bad, dude. Why? Why John would it be bad? doesn't know this song. Do to do, do to do, do to do, do do do, do to do, do to do, do to do, do to do. I bet you everyone in the car. If you know that song, please comment what movie that's from. Indiana Jones. <laughs>
Not close. Kind of close. Mickey Mouse? Damn it. We lost him. All right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me give me one hit. One, no. one super quick. No, no, no. I want one hit. You, you just got the Indiana Jones hint. I just said Indiana Jones. Don't yeah. give him anything else. Don't give him anything else. All right. Let's get back to the story. I, John, you can guess at the next okay. break. Okay. Okay. I was confused and asked him what happened and he told me everything. I told him it wasn't my intention. I just told our parents what happened because they didn't know and wanted to know where I was and I thought he had told them beforehand. He screamed at me that I ruined his wedding, which I don't think is true. I told him it's not my fault. He wasn't honest with them. It's your own fault. Damn straight. Bingo. I just respected their wish to not attend the wedding. I couldn't know it would go down like this because like I said, I couldn't attend several events because of my sexuality and my parents never said anything about it. So I thought it would be the same thing here. But I gotta admit, it's kind of sweet that my parents and the rest of my family stood up for me. They haven't done it before. That's a more than a welcome change. Mm. But I still kind of feel bad because apparently I really ruined the wedding party. And there is an update two days later. But do you do you think OP is the a-hole by telling the truth to his parents about the reason that he was not invited? Let us know in the comments right now. There is a juicy update coming up. But Don, Riley, what do you think? Absolutely not. No. Of course not. Just told the truth. I just told the truth. Yeah. You just told the truth. I think the brother is the a-hole. Brother is 1,000% the a-hole. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> All right, you get another guess. Uh, get, give me more time. Okay. We'll do another break. <laughs> so, update one, two days later. Didn't think I'd give an update, but many interesting things have happened. So after my brother's visit, his wife and him went on the honeymoon. And the way the wedding party went might have been even worse than I imagined. What happens now is pretty incredible. When I said in the main post that two fronts had formed, I only meant metaphorically, of course, but it's no longer that. Well, nothing much interesting has happened in the first two days afterwards. The terror started as soon as my brother and his wife went on their honeymoon. My mom and dad visited me and told me how the wedding party escalated and they were so close to physical violence. Wow. I thought it was funny at first. Oh man, this Celsius be hidden. Oh, what's going on here? See? Damn. <laughs> We're ready to read. That's crazy. I thought it was funny at first, but this truly bothers me. I also want to point out that you did a great job at convincing me it's not my fault, but hearing my parents' side still gave me a bad feeling in my stomach. All right, shout out Reddit for making sure OP realizes it's not their fault. Yes. However, like I said, the terror started shortly after they went on their honeymoon. And when I say terror, I mean that my sister-in-law's family found both my Facebook and Instagram account and started spamming me with hateful messages. Oh my God. I received insults and hateful messages from various different accounts who all had one thing in common. They all had somewhat a Christian theme and all of them had the same last name. Who are you people? Which probably means it's all from the other side of the family. Yes. So it wasn't hard to find whose account it was, mainly because I don't know my sister-in-law's family at all. I only know her and her parents were homophobic Christians, but whatever. They not only started attacking me, they also found the account of my boyfriend. <gasps> no! Dude. Over my account because we're linked as a couple and started to send him the same messages. I was catching strays. I know, so rough. Also, I was randomly on Facebook yesterday and someone from high school updated their relationship status on Facebook. What are you doing? People still do that shit? <laughs> Who does that? That's crazy. Who does that? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, o it's over. Wait, did you update your relationship status? I haven't, but like, it's, I don't know. My family's on there. They need to know. I guess. What are you fucking with? <laughs> Well, I'm down with my down chick. <laughs> That's who. Anyway, are you guys updating Facebook? I guess. Yeah, let us know. Maybe y'all um, are updating. Maybe we got some people up on Facebook. Some Facebookers in here. Facebookers. Facebookers. Yeah. Facebookers. Facebookers. Let us know. Anyway. Oh, wow. The messages contained on one side, typical bigot stuff like you're burning in hell for your sins. One even called me and my boyfriend two devils in disguise. The <laughs> other side was just blatant insults. You get the idea. I called my parents and told them what they were doing. Then I sent a text message to my brother with screenshots of the messages his wife's family sent me, to which he replied, I shouldn't disturb him with that during his honeymoon as I already destroyed his wedding party. Do you hate your brother? Your own brother. What a portray. I think the brother secretly is not okay with OP. Mm, maybe I think that's... They act, uh, the brother is actually adhering to his values. Yeah, him and his wife share uh, one specific value in common. Mm. Wow. That's a good ICU. I see that. I see that. He was just like them. 
He did send me an apology after my mom told me she called him, but none of this is the main reason I'm giving you this update this early. So that's not even the T. We haven't even Bro. gotten to the T. Stop. I hear I thought we were about to be drained dry, but there I just stuck my straw a little bit further in and there's more story here. <laughs> what an analogy. A, you really painted a picture for me there. Because mm -hmm. I got a call this morning from an unknown number. I hesitated because I thought it was one of them and I was right, but it was none of the people who insulted me. I heard a woman's voice who introduced herself as the half sister of my brother's wife. She said it didn't go unnoticed what her family was doing and she wanted to apologize for them. Okay. So it seems like OP's rallying support from the other side of the family. I'm an ally. Mm. I told her I'm not going to tell anyone in the family about this and that I don't blame her for her family's actions. She thanked me and hung up. I don't know why, but I have this feeling he only did this to protect her family from being reported. Very suspicious. Suspicious? Reported. Maybe for like a harassment, harassment, hate crime, something along those lines. My mother wrote to me earlier that she wants to report the insults and the harassment of these people and that she demands for my brothers. Oh, my God. And that she demands for my brother to divorce his wife or she will disinherit him from her. Whoa. Because that's not how she raised him. A little radical, in my opinion, but I understand where she's coming from. This entire thing escalated so much is unbelievable. Thank you all for your support in my first post and there is another update but oh my goodness wow so we all kind of like we, we kind of buried the lead yeah but it all came full circle that last moment so the parents are like if you don't divorce your wife we will disinherit you bro and also we're gonna report the whole family for harassment what do you think about both of those I I actually kind of like the um the reporting for harassment because I think like I think in so often in these stories it just goes like further and further and further and I think putting a stop to like if it was someone on 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 the street or something that did this I feel like that would be a pretty natural reaction like oh let's like report them for harassment or something along those lines yeah. right agreed <laughs> totally agreed and it's gotten so it's like gone so far you're literally finding both of them personally doing all these insults crazy. So I like that on the disinheriting. You know what it kind of is like, you know, you know how they say with with kids, like if you try to like punish and push back against their bad behavior, all that does is makes them want to dig in deeper. Like mm -hmm. it's almost like if they go so hard, would that, you ground your kids? <laughs> would I ground my kids? Yeah. Like just in general? Yeah. Um, I think so. But mostly like I'm I'm a, I'm I'm big on the you disappointed me. Emotional. Wait, emotional. Yeah. I, I believe in a good disappoint. Mm. Um, mm. But I, I think that these parents, if they do this, that might cause him to f double down. I like getting a picture into John's parenting style. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I was just distracted by imagining you as a father. <laughs> You're going to have to go back like 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So back to OP's parents. I think that if they try to do this disinheriting thing, the brother might actually double down and just side with the wife mm. and like kind of remove himself from the family and now allow or encourage the hate towards OP yeah. in a way. I also felt a tinge of ooh, like like when I heard the distant hair, I'm like, oh, I don't know if that feels right. Like, yeah. like the, the, the whole like I'm going to report this harassment felt really good. But I was yeah. like, like, I feel like it's going to have a bad unintended consequence. It doesn't feel right like a backfire i think it's you gonna have I mean? a backfire yeah and i think it could cause more resentment and more isolation and further radicalize op's brother yeah it's kind of and like that family. idea of like i think often we have a culture of when people say something bad or are, have like a very different opinion of us i think the culture is ostracized yeah and isolate where it's like i can't believe you said that ostracize and isolate and then but then when you do that when you ostracize and isolate then you essentially provide a chamber for those views to magnify yeah and metastasize right and so i think instead it should be like almost like bring in like bring in closer and educate discuss I, it discussion and education discussion yeah. and education and i i feel like i i don't i don't think the disinheriting thing will have the intended effect yeah i i agree i think you need to the first step is we need to all come to the table and have a heart to heart yeah. on like this is your brother 
you know, like. But I can already see the comments rolling in saying actions have consequences. Meh, 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 meh. Yeah, that's. I what think, do you say to that? What do you say to those people that are I, about I to say, say that in the comments? Again, I'm big on I'm big on check. You disappointed me. Good. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I, I was, I, uh, that's what I imagined you would say. The, the oh, I'm yes, not saying yeah, yeah, I'm not yeah, saying yeah, right. you disappointed me right, from my POV. No, yeah, I'm saying you. I'm I'm saying that's what you say in that situation yes. as John. Yes, the, I'm embodying yes. Father John. Yes, that is that is what I would say. I would say you disappointed me. Like this is your brother. Like, isn't this someone you want to like protect and love and like sit down and hear? out and empathize and you know all all of that like i, I think it starts with a, a sit down heart to heart conversation to try and assess where the brother is really at right now because it, it seems like he's teetering on just like completely siding with the family and secretly does side with them yeah i the, think the wife's family. i i think the brother is saying that he supports op but like again just parroting what you said actually has a value that's closer in line with his wife happen yeah you know, I don't know if you marry someone who has ra- vastly different values than you. Yeah. You not know? generally not that, that different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, but there is an update Woo-hoo! and we are going to dive in. This is another two days later. Note, this is all happening in June of 2023. In June. <laughs> <laughs> it's gay pride month oh. <laughs> good catch riley <laughs> they're all pulling the stone on, in june that's crazy how Dude. dare they woke riley over woke here riley What's okay riley oh. <laughs> don't tell my parents <laughs> <laughs> <Mrs. Wilson>. <laughs> <laughs> wow good on you riley anyway june 3rd <laughs> i just know that <laughs> that's <laughs> okay <laughs> riley's trying to backtrack his wokeness <laughs> oh we should go to pride for it that no. would actually be so fun. Let's freaking go, dude, bro. Have you gone to Pride? Pride in WeHo is old. Oh, dude. Pride in WeHo probably it goes is crazy. Lit. I went to the last Pride I went was a weird Pride because it was half Black Lives Matter, half Pride. And so it was like a weird mix of emotions. <laughs> yeah. There. Was there COVID happening too? Yeah, it was, it was COVID, like Black Lives Matter, and Pride. And all in one. Um, yeah. It was still cool. It was yeah, still yeah. really cool. A very, but very like. I don't know, more, like more somber tones and things of that nature. Somber, but like it was just, I don't know. It was like a really like interesting cultural yeah. melting pot mm-hmm. at that moment but, but this summer let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go pride this we summer, are wet and wild i'm Booties down grabbed all around i'm down yeah. i'm checking my cheeks though I'm checking your cheeks dude those how those if we're gonna be there <laughs> <laughs> getting your booty slapped only, to you, only to you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah so here we're getting into the update june 3rd some of you are wondering why i seem so calm and casual in the update when i'm being discriminated against the truth is that I am in a relationship with my boyfriend for now three years and the things that happen now are nothing compared to what I've been through. I've received hateful messages almost daily, not only from their accounts, but in general, and I learned to ignore that. There have been way worse situations, such as when my boyfriend went to visit his family and I couldn't go with him. We kissed each other goodbye on a train station and when the train left and no one saw it, a group of guys attacked me. I was sent to the hospital because of severe injuries. Just to give you an idea of what I had to deal with in the past. Also, the writing here is not perfect i'm wondering if op is not in the like this not is in op, the states not in yep. the states and this is like english is a second language mm-hmm. for op yeah possibly possibly yeah and don't get me wrong we will report my sister-in-law's family but what they are doing is nothing i haven't seen a thousand times before which understandable so sad though so sad we got another update nine days later let's so, get into it but a few days first of all me and my boyfriend are fine luckily for us they didn't go any further with their text messages my mom filed a report against them what's going I don't know the current situation about that as I haven't filed the report myself. The reason I update you is a different one. First of all, one person in my sister-in-law's family is actually going to testify in my favor against her family. Whoa. It really takes courage to do so. It's the same person that called me in the last update. Somehow they found out that she is into women and there was no reason to hide it anymore. However, she said she's fine is going to stay at a friend's house. I have so much respect for what she does. Imagine the strength you need to testify against your own family. I now feel bad for assuming she only called me to save her family from being reported. Got an ally. True. More importantly, what is the situation with my brother? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Because again, reminder, OP's parents were like, we're disinheriting you. Well, my mom talked to him and told him to leave his wife or she will disinherit him from her will. He decided to stay. 
with his wife and my mom made her threat come true. Oh my God. He's no longer in her will. My father did the same. When I visited them, I told them that I wish that this entire situation went differently. They assured me it's not my fault, but I feel like if it wasn't for me, then my family wouldn't have been ripped apart like this. I haven't talked to my brother since then. My boyfriend feels similar. He also told me he kind of feels responsible for all the chaos. I assured him it's not his fault, but ultimately and honestly, I wasn't even sure I could say this in my position. On the other hand, it was my sister-in-law's family's bigotry that ruined everything and everything would have been fine if I just could have attended. It's, I mean, OP, just real talk. It is not your fault. It's not no, your boyfriend's not fault. not at all. Bigotry is not your fault. Yes. You know, if you get flack for just being you, that's, uh, that is that's never on, on you. you. That's that not is on never you. on you. But now it's time for me to grow distant to the situation. We will see what the report will do. I followed your advice to document everything. The insulting and harassing messages continued until two days ago. So I have much to say about them. Unfortunately, homophobia is still very much normalized in our society. I already said in a post in my profile, but the reason I'm so calm and casual about situations is the simple fact I'm used to situations like this. They don't get to me anymore. If I let any insult get to me, I wouldn't have made it for a long time. It's a coping mechanism. I've been into situations where I was sent to the hospital because I kissed my boyfriend in public. So insults and harassment like this is nothing I haven't seen before. I want to say thank you for all the support on my first two posts. And there is an update number three, two months later, and wow. another update number four. Wow. And another update number five. This is a saga. And another update number six. What? what? This is a saga. The six part series. Yeah. OKOP mini series. Let's go. Yeah. If you love this saga, make sure to subscribe. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't subscribed, come on, do so. Subscribe to the saga. Thank you. So update three, August 22nd, 2023, two months later. I think some of y'all are waiting for an update. So here I am. Keep in mind that this update will probably be the last one. Liar. It won't be. So last time I told you my mother was pressing charges against them. And to my surprise, we won. Whoa. They weren't going to jail or anything, but they did have to pay for their actions. Literally. There was one incident where my sister-in-law's dad was actually trying to find out where I live and asked my brother who told him. Only God knows what he would have done to us if we had still lived there. But in the time span of the last two months, me and my boyfriend moved into a different place, which my brother didn't know anything of. Also, their social media accounts were deleted. However, I don't know if this was part of their punishment or if they did it themselves. My mom has also carried out the threat towards my brother and disinherited him from her will. After he came back from his honeymoon, he begged her, put him in again. But she said only if he apologized to me. Do you think he's going to apologize? Uh, no. I think he is, but for the wrong reason. Yeah, right. Like he could give it, he, uh, he could give like yeah, a fake sorry. apology. Like, like, I mean, he's incentivized to get his will back. Like, this is true. Good I don't point. know. I don't think it's a real apology. Good point. She invited me and my boyfriend over and my brother sat in the living room with this mad look on his face. She made him apologize, but I didn't accept this apology because I could tell it wasn't sincere, which mm. of course it's not going to be sincere. Like really quick, really quick, like dwelling on this for a second. If you basically financially try to hurt someone to make them change a core belief, they're going to just say whatever they need. I will do anything. To get the finances back. To get the finances back. So it's like, I don't think it's an effective way to enact change. And also now that we're at this point, I, I actually think I understand disinheriting, but maybe on a much longer time scale. You know what I mean? Like, like, like as, as the parents are like really getting into their, their older years and they're like, okay, we've, tr we've tried and done all these things for like years and years with the person and at, at a later point or, or reverse it, take it away and say, Hey, if we see actual change in you trying to become a better brother and better family member, we will reinstate your inheritance. That reminds me of the drug addict story we we read it was like hey if you are sober for this many years you will get your inheritance back. Right. Yeah, that's, I feel like it's kind of a good idea. Yeah, that's yeah, that's definitely definitely better than the immediate yeah takeaway. Yeah, in incentivizing a fake apology. Yeah, exactly. I I, I mean, th this apology does nothing for anyone. He did it because he had to, and not because he was actually sorry. I told my brother that I am disappointed in him for who he became. Mm. Before that, we had this huge bond. Usually, never judged each other for stuff like this, and all of a sudden, he has such a problem with me having a boyfriend. I just don't get it. I told him that I miss the old him. He didn't respond to anything. Just sat there quietly, staring at the bottom. I guess the floor. That 
the and floor. he went to the bottom. Ooh. After I finished, he just got up and left. This was the last time I spoke with him, and it's already been a few weeks since this happened. My parents paid much more attention to the discrimination I face since this incident. They wanted to learn more about my problems, the problems I face as a queer person. I really love them. My dad even got a bisexual pride flag for me and asked if he could hang it in our bedroom. That's that cute. is cute. What is the bisexual flag? It's uh, a, one of the I think it's one of the specific colors or not. Three. Dude, that that's so thrown off. It should be two colors. The bisexual flag. That makes sense. Well, right? it makes like it, it makes it makes sense because it's like a girl guy, like girl pink, guy blue, purple in the middle. But like bi, like two be two colors. There should be two. I think it's representing. You don't like, call it a bicycle and not have two wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is a bicycle with three wheels bilingual you speak two languages bisexual flag two colors i'm not bi should they change the bisexual flag put your answer in the comments below <laughs> let us know anyway i really love that my dad got a bisexual pride flag for me and asked if he could hang it in our bedroom i love that i have such great parents i just wish for my brother to become the person he once was by the way since the case with my sister-in-law's family is over i didn't hear anything about their lesbian daughter she supported us during the process but we lost contact afterwards i just hope he's fine mm. us too and there is an update february 16th 2024 six months after that last update wow oh my we're getting close to the now. We're getting Dude. close to the now. The final update of my story. Not the final update. There's more. <laughs> happened six months ago. And I figured some of you might be interested in how things are going. So I'm back at least for this post right now. There have been some things that happened. First of all, I want to give you an update about the sister of my brother's wife. The, the one that liked women and got, came out to support OP. Yes. Around two months after my update, she texted us and asked if she could come over. We talked for a while and I was relieved to find out that she is fine. She said that she moved in with her girlfriend when the case was over simply because her parents and the rest of the family had disowned her and threatened her with physical violence if she dares to return. No bad. However, the relationship with her girlfriend ended after a while and she asked us if she could stay for a few days until she found something. Well, she stayed with us for two weeks and during that time, my parents had visited us and offered her to stay with them because they had a big house with some free space. Goat parents. Dude. You're the best. Parents are really doing the most. Truly. And giving the bisexual flag a raise, you know, doing all the right things. Parent, w parents. W parents. W parents. She stays there currently because she wanted to study and my parents had no problem with letting her stay a little longer. Me and my boyfriend also support her financially a little bit. Well, we included her in several different celebrations such as Christmas and New Year's Eve and I feel like she is like the sister I never had. Wow. What's probably more interesting for you though is how my brother is currently doing. Hmm. The truth is, I don't know exactly. Oh. <laughs> that would be interesting and hope he doesn't know. We haven't talked since the apology. However, he actually tried to attend our Christmas celebration party, but the moment he appeared, my dad kicked him out and said that, and I quote, this homophobic rubbish is no longer allowed in my house. Daddy, are daddy they, put his foot down. Yeah, daddy put his foot down. Also, are they in the UK? Rubbish? Oh, true. I love him. Oh, by the way, of course, both went through with disowning him. So both parents are like, hey, we cannot have this. You out. <laughs> My boyfriend and I are still together and I feel like he might be the one I want to marry. This entire situation made our bond so much stronger. I plan on proposing to him, but there are so many ideas floating around in my head for the proposal that I can't really decide which one. Also, the social media accounts of my sister-in-law's family had disappeared entirely. All of them. But I assume they already made new ones under a new name. I'm just glad this is finally over. It's not. I don't have any compassion left for my brother. I just wish he had never developed this way. Everything that happened to him, he brought it on himself. If you guys want, I can update. And I'm engaged. Thanks for reading. Wish Ooh. you all the best. And there is another update, but relevant comments. Valuable Pace 1904 says, be sure to also hire security at your future wedding in case your brother has wife and any in-laws try to boycott it in any shape or form if they somehow find out where it will take place. OP responds, I never thought about that, but true. If someone would try to do something like this as a revenge, it's them. I'll keep this in mind. Bro, when you have to hire security for your own freaking wedding. I know. What is going on? You got some crazy family members. You guys look crazy scary. Yes. But there is another update. 
<laughs> April 14th, two months later. You ready? I'm, I'm ready. I'm locked in. Do you remember when I told you my last update two months ago that I will propose to my boyfriend? Well, I did it today. Hey. I brought up so many ideas that it was really hard to decide, so I gave him some subtle hints. Not too obvious. There's enough to see how he reacts and then decided based on his reaction. In the end, I made a photo album of us featuring the most important events in our relationship. Each of them had a thought of mine and a caption below them. Some of them were meaningful, but some of them were just random. Like one photo of us eating at his favorite restaurant at his birthday, and the caption just says something like, damn, that pizza was good. <laughs> that made him laugh. We walked to his favorite spot in town, which is a wonderful lake. And that is where I gave him the album and told him it's a present and to look through it. He was focused and didn't notice what I was doing behind him. As I just told him, I was getting something I forgot. I positioned myself behind him, and that is when the last page came into play. That page had a photo of me holding the ring in the same way I positioned myself behind him, looking straight at the camera, and the caption says, hopefully he says yes. He turned around in disbelief and started crying almost immediately when he saw me. I couldn't even finish the question and he already said yes. It was exactly how I hoped it would go. I always dreamt of making my proposal like out of a romance novel and it was successful. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to marry him. I already told my entire family, except for my brother, of course. They were so happy about it, especially my mom and new sister shrieked out of excitement on the phone. I assume my quote unquote brother knows anyway, considering I shared it on Facebook. You guys probably probably aren't wrong that he might plan something, but if he does, it won't stop us. Do you guys want me to update you when I'm married to tell you about the wedding and everything? And there is one final update. Dude, adorable. All right, John. Yes. Do to do, do to do, do to do, do to do, do do, do to do, do to do, do to do, do to do. So it's like kind of like Indiana Jones was not Indiana Jones. Yeah. Or it's like in that vein. I don't know. It's not James Bond. No. No. One more guess. One more guess. Adventurous. What other guess? Aladdin. No. Further and further. Older. The mix of Indiana Jones and Aladdin. All right. Movies like Indiana Jones. I'm about to give you a huge Clint. I'm about to. I'm about to give you. What are you giving? A huge what? I'm about to give you a huge hint. Ooh, I'll take it. And somehow it is very related to what we've been talking about. Oh, yeah. But one week later, I just have to tell you guys this. We're currently planning our wedding. And instead of a regular wedding dance, we decided we want to have a lightsaber battle against each other. Of course, it's not just a random lightsaber battle. It's like choreography that we have to learn. We're both huge Star Wars fan. What's the movie, John? <laughs> Star Wars. It is. Cabo Cantina. Dumbo. Come on. My Wait, dad. What'd you say? Dumbo. No, no, no. What did you say? Cabo Cantina. What? Most easily cantina. cantina. That was Cabo Cantina. Oh, wait, that's just Most easily. That's just a bar that I would go to in college. <laughs> ah! right. Got him. What is it? Most easily? Cantina? Yeah, most easily. Yeah. Anyway, my dad, who also loves Star Wars, said he wants to join, and he had an idea how to do that. He said to add a story to it that he wants to have a lightsaber battle against my fiance, where my fiance has to fight for the right to marry me, where my dad would eventually lose, and then I would step in to tell <laughs> my fiance's strength myself and there would be a lightsaber battle between us and then I acknowledge his force is worthy enough. I know some of you might think it's childish, but I'm so excited for it. Our wedding will be a day for people to remember. And that is the end of the saga. Dude, what an adorable... Just Opie is Opie is adorable. Also hilarious that the the clue and the clue was so Star Wars. So I know. I, I didn't even realize that was that's, coming at the that end. That was so crazy. It's a sign. That <sighs> it truly be. can't believe you don't know that sign. No, I should crazy. watch more movies. You should watch more movies. Yeah. At least Star Wars. Yeah, I have seen Star Wars. Obviously, not enough. <laughs> not enough. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Ever played Lego Star Wars? Uh, only a little bit. Or like. Uh, uh, Star Wars Battlefront. Ooh, yeah. Riley and I were playing that a couple months ago. I got on my PS4 now. Oh, no way. Maybe we should totally play. Okay. I'm down. <laughs> what? Hey, you think you're, you think you think you're, think you're invited? Yeah. Who do you think you are? You think you're not <laughs> Star Wars watching Booty can play Battlefront with us? No, you got to sit down and watch at least four, five, and six. I will force my way into playing. Well, I have a new hope that I will make this happen. Well, if you want to get revenge on John for uh, his non-Star Wars watching abilities, uh, you should subscribe. Yes. Uh, but you know what I will always subscribe to? What? This next story. Let's do it. Am I the a-hole for shutting down my mother-in-law for insulting my ex? Yes, because ghosts can't talk back. I see dead people. <laughs> That's true. 
<laughs> this comes from aptly mysterious cod 3255 who says i 46 male have two children thea 13 female and kale 10 male These i think it's kale. names c-a-e-l kale kale um Cal? 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 I'm going with Cal. Their mom passed away five years ago in a car crash. We had been married at the time, but only legally. For the last three years of her life, we were pretending to still be together and we stayed married, but it was all pretending for the kids. We did not want to divorce for our kids' sake. Both of us come from divorced families and what I consider broken homes because of how badly our parents handled the divorces. We didn't want that for our kids. We feared we couldn't do better. The end result was us hating each other. It ran deep too. I regret that now. The last words we exchanged were not kind. Our kids deserve better than that, better than having parents who hated each other because we were so afraid to divorce. Oof. Wow. So after she passed away, I was determined to let go of that hate and I was determined to make sure the kids knew they were both loved by both parents and were not burdened by the issues we've had. Their mom and dad both love them. I truly believe their mom's love still exists for them Aww. in them. That's beautiful. In my heart. At least OP can admit that even though there was like a lot of tumult in that relationship. Exactly. He's growing and learning from this like tragic event mm. and they both deserve to know that love. That's what I was focused on. So I saved everything of hers for them. It's all stored safely for them one day. I, I kind of like that. In a couple of years after she passed away, I did remove most of the photos of our married life, but I let the kids keep two photos of their choice out in the open in common areas of the house. The rest are either in their room or or stored for them with the rest of their stuff. My kids love and miss their mom so much and it brings them a lot of comfort to have her photos out. I make sure they can always talk about her or ask questions. They also have a very close relationship with the three siblings she spoke to. This is my children's home above all and I make sure it always feels that way. I love that approach. I think yeah. OP is trying really hard to make sure that the, the, the memory and love and everything for his children's mother is preserved. Which is great. I see no a holery so far. I see no a holery. I see great parenting. Zero so a holery. Zero a holery. Mm -hmm. Except maybe the a holery of sticking together when you maybe should have divorced. Yeah, yeah. That that was maybe more of just like a bad situation. All yeah, because yeah, it was done for very good, good reasons, reasons, which I would argue in this case. Yeah, but so is murder. <laughs> what? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah! sometimes people murder for very good reasons. True. Go bad. Go bad thing. True. Man, you really threw me for a loop there. Yeah. <laughs> when I met my wife, I remarried last year. So this is the new wife now. Cool. Uh, I told her about the photos and said a partner of mine needed to accept this. She did. Okay. We cool. got married. Nobody has taken down the photos of my kids and their mom down. But my in-laws, the new wife's parents do have a problem. Mm. Who cares? Who cares? They're not in a relationship with you. Correct. And they're maybe speaking on behalf of my wife and she's not open. I'm still figuring that out now. They're staying with us this weekend. And during a dinner, they questioned my kids about keeping the photos out when my wife now that lives with us. That is so messed up. If you ask the children, yeah, that why is, is your disgusting mom up on the wall? That is disgusting. It's all it's it's already terrible, I think, to say that to the husband when it's like, hey, this is my my kid's mom. mom. Like they're trying to erase that their their mom to ask the kids at the dinner table. Yeah, it's like that disgusting. one that one story of the girlfriend that cut out all the photos of the ex and put her the deceased ex. Yeah, yeah, and put her in the photo. Bro, come <laughs> on my kids said they like having photos of their mom they can see in the house no way N duh of course my in-laws began to say it was inconsiderate of my wife and they should not be in the common areas maybe it's inconsiderate to ask literal children to take down pictures of their deceased mother that they love yeah did you ever stop to consider that oh you're making john angry you're making me do you really want to make john angry he'll explode is he going to explode <laughs> that's right and that's when i stepped in and shut them down and i told them that this is still my children's home too and part of that is displaying photos of their mom in their home where they can be seen yeah this is last time i checked this is my house Mm -hmm. My house, my rules. You can have no photos of her in your house. How about that? Yeah. Let's do that. I told them it did not need to be discussed more. The following day, my in-laws said I had no reason to be so rude. And I had an unhealthy attachment to keeping their mom present in their lives when she's dead. 
If we forgot everyone that was dead, we wouldn't have history. I'm floored. John loves that floor. I love floors, but this is the bad floor. This is the bad floor. This is the bad floor floored. Yeah, I feel like I'm we're we, the bar is on the floor. Yes. And we are just digging further. Digging below it. Digging further. So below the bar. It's mm -hmm. crazy. They told me they should be allowed to question things about their daughter's home, and I overreacted. So am I the a-hole? Nope. Couldn't I want to know what all of y'all think. Yes, please. Answer in the comments, Tell us in the comments. I below. do not think the a-hole at all. And why? I mean, this is, you're trying to remove history. You're trying to remove OP's kid's mom from their life. And like a mom doesn't just, like a mom is your mom forever. I mean, they can't erase the past. Yes. And these are, these poor kids, like the trauma of having to lose, lose their mom. And then having to justify why their mom is up on the wall to some Hoity toity dumbass to like grandparents. grandparents. Yeah, they they, they are should, stinky. They should know better. They're like so old. old. They're so old. They should know, have lived life experiences to know that these poor freaking children almost certainly are tra traumatized. Yeah. From losing their mom. And it's like, this is a way that they can cope and, uh, and remember her. Remember her. Yeah. So. In conclusion, OP, you are not the a-hole. No. But your new girlfriend or what? No, but new your new wife's wife. parents 1000% are. Yeah, this is crazy. And also, uh, OP had a little line in there. He's not sure if if this is actually his wife kind of like using the Subtly parents. Doing as it. A, a, yeah. That's, I honestly was thinking a little bit of that, but I don't think you can put blame on her. I don't think we have any evidence. Absolutely no evidence. Zero proof whatsoever. We don't have any evidence. I don't think we have any evidence. He said, he, I, I believe Opie said he was trying to like see if he could yeah. test that don't out. Maybe blame the feeling. daughter for the sins of their parents, you know? Indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. But what do you think? I want to know in your comments down below. Yes. My boyfriend wants kids, but not marriage. What should I do? Don't get married. <laughs> I don't have the kids? I think don't have the kids either. <gasps> Run away. Run. Oh. Oh. And this comes from r slash OKOP show, our little subreddit community. If you want to submit your own story, go to r slash OKOP show on Reddit. Send it in. We, female 32 and male 42, have known each other for more than 10 years. We were a couple for the last four years living together for three years. He is the love of my life, my soulmate. Couldn't imagine anyone better than him. Uh -huh. In the past two years, he would mention a wedding in some way, church where he wants to get married, type of food he will eat, showing me some proposal videos and asking what I think about it. Joking how I'll have to spell my new surname everywhere I go. Ooh. Let's not forget his favorite phrase that I've heard maybe 10 times, you are going to be an amazing wife. So I thought the proposal is on the way. We travel a lot in the last two years, maybe 10 times before each holiday, he would advise me what colors I should wear and mostly how my nails should look. He does this for holidays. I was probably just seeing things because nothing ever happened, which is a common thing. Like get your nails done before we go out. So your hands your hand look good for the, the photos. Go. We started talking seriously about babies. I'm 32. He will soon be 43. And we decided it's probably time to start working on our family. When we meet friends or family, they always have some comments about our wedding slash kid. And it's been happening the last couple of years. We met his uncle. And as always, he was asking about kids and family. And when we were alone, I just couldn't help myself and asked him, me, did you notice how everyone kept pushing us to get married? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> what? Like, oh my God. I think it would be a great idea with our plans to start a family. He, what? I don't understand where this came from. I thought we were planning to have a baby, not a wedding. A wedding takes years to plan. He wasn't going to have a huge wedding. He thought we were going to get married after having kids. First comes kids, then comes marriage. Everyone you know? knows that. First things first. I wouldn't mind to get married in an office, but I would love to be married to him before having kids. I thought he knew how I felt, but I guess he didn't get what I was saying before. And according to my lovely mom's advice, do not push anyone to do anything they don't want to do. If they don't want to do it in the first place, sooner or later, they will run away from you. I love him so much, though. I can't imagine life without him, but I don't know what to do. I know we need to talk about it, but I don't know what to say. So I won't push him away because I just want to do this thing. What should I do? What would you do in this situation? Please help me. I really don't know what to do. P.S. English is my second language and I'm not emotional. Hope you could read that. So um, very curious what everyone in the comments has to say. So but basically like he was always hinting about marriage, not about kids. 
That's what I was getting from it. It, it felt it felt like this whole story is like, oh, you're gonna make a perfect wife. And you don't freaking say that to someone you're not thinking about marrying. Yes. Like, why drop all of these hints over these years and then be like, oh, no, I want to. I mean, I guess he technically he said, I just want to have kids before I get married. But it's like, who that is that is an uncommon thing that is, to think. That's Literally, an take. first first comes love, then comes marriage, then comes a freaking baby in a baby carriage. Yes. Then baby in a baby carriage is last. Yes. According to the song. If you want to disrupt the song, then you have to you have to like that that is the weird thing. You have to like give context to that. This might be a bad take, but low key, like at that point, just like don't get married because i feel like there's people who like don't believe in like oh marriage it's like oh hey i just i'm with this person but i i am not about this idea of marriage or like putting it on paper or whatever i just want to make this a commitment but i feel like i feel like marriage is actually more important once you have kids no no no. i i i personally agree but like to the people who are like like it feels like op maybe actually falls in the camp of like i don't believe in marriage op well, i concept. think op wants marriage uh, allegedly after kids oh you're saying oh no opie's husband opie's husband i'm sorry opie's Opie, husband, yes. opie's yeah husband, opie's yes. husband so like yeah. i'm almost like just like keep it consistent and be like hey i don't believe in marriage but i do want to have kids like i like that take i believe in defending the principles of this i would almost like accept more well, it sounds than this one it, it basi- basically op thought we're going to get married then have kids and then opie's husband or then but opie's boyfriend thought no we're going to have kids and then get married yes so it's just an order an order thing <laughs> then why not, not swap them and also so like another old so like uh getting well, married because because uh the the uh, opie's husband is like i want a big wedding so that's why it'll take a couple years but we could just pop out a baby now court Your court marriage drying up save whatever. up for a few years for this for the ceremony that's good 100 percent. that's good that's smart. What are, what are we talking about? Yeah, that actually Done. is a great solve. Court marriage, babies, big marriage. I feel like he's like, there's a secret. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm detecting something that he like doesn't want to get married. I don't know why. I know he was but talking about- How would about- you want to get, how would you want to have kids with someone and not like- Tons of people do. Tons of people. Ha- First off, people have children outside of being married, right? Well, yeah. And, and but two, there are also people who intentionally plan that because they don't want to be legally married for whatever reason lots of people lots of people do that maybe he wants to ha- like he basically wants a surrogate to have kids with and he has is a high net worth individual that doesn't want marriage to complicate ownership of his assets i think I, I think i figured it out the reason i'm feeling this way is because it feels like he's dangling the carrot he's like i'll give you marriage after you give me kids it feels <laughs> very like it's a conspiracy Oh, see what I'm saying? But if, if let's say they weren't together, yeah, couldn't she still sue for child support? Is she could sue for child support, but probably a divorce. It's a lot easier to go after more assets, right? Like, like give me half of your right. net so, worth, yeah, right? Versus he's like, just this child person support. is is good enough. Mm. So, so it's a bait and switch. Yeah, yeah. So if, if he's like dangling the carrot, and then That's he like, a conspiracy and then he throws it. That's what I'm saying, right? He throws it out the window after they have the kid, and he's like, "Gotcha, bait and switch," like you said. And now the worst case scenario is she gets child support. Not 50% or more of his net worth. That's my suspicion. I'm kind of like, that makes sense to me. Dude. When you're off the Celsi, the, the, Dude, the Celsi goes is crazy. Just, yeah. um, I don't know. What do you all think? I would love to know your answers in the comments below. Do you agree with John's conspiracy theory? Do you think there's something else afoot? Or do you think this is totally normal? And it's first comes babies, then comes marriage. Yeah. And to be clear with OP, hopefully you're watching this since you're, you're, you're in our, oh, in our right? subreddit. This is our slash OKOP yes. show. This is just a feeling. Ah, I cons- forget. Yes. This is such a good story. I know. I know. So OP. Yeah, there's OK shit. All right. Wait. Yes. We got this. <laughs> We're not saying this is 100%. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. That's a conspiracy theory. That's it a conspiracy could be theory. completely normal, but just, you know, be aware. Yes, yeah, so to sit down, like, actually, talk, I, I think you have to have a heart to heart with this part. Like, it, actual, it's you we're in reality. Yeah, we're you, need clear, land. Yeah. you need to sit down and clear it up. Like, ask, like, hey, you know, you gave me this hint, these hints and it made me feel like we were heading towards marriage. Could you break that down for me? Could you help me understand? Communicate, communicate. 
what do you where, imagine like how do you imagine things going yeah but i like i like the if, if he's re, if if all right if it's really i don't want to plan a big wedding if that's actually the qualm and he still wants to get married there's nothing wrong with a courtroom marriage courtroom marriage now just for legality get it on paper then have a big celebration when you can save for it and bring all your friends that yeah, yeah i like that i like that a lot yeah um but you know what i hope you like what this show oh i love this show yeah. actually because if you love us make sure to subscribe and we love you see, see you tomorrow, tomorrow.